Okay, so we're back. Uh, Remove the clamps from the neck blank. We've got a thickness here of 65 mil, so the neck at the pocket will be 60 mil thick. Plenty at this end for shaping, 65 mil. And I've got a crack here, I don't know if you remember, that crack runs pretty straight. And the thickness there is 35 mil, so by the time I put the fretboard on, that section there is plenty, so that will be just sawn off. But I, I like to glue them up this thick, just so that I've got a bit of meat for when I do the uh, headstock, which you'll see later. So I'm gonna plane this up now and get it uh, square, and then uh, we'll have another look. sure if the grain's showing on there but absolutely fantastic this will make a really nice guitar neck four laminations gives it a bit of strength it's pretty tough stuff London plane anyway once it's dry it doesn't really move happy days Okay, so, uh, truss rod, I've got my big magnification glasses on, I need to be pretty accurate on this, and I need to draw in the centre line, which should be there, but let's have a look. That is 64, yeah, 64, and that is the centre line there. Sixty four again and yeah, centre line so we know where the centre line's gotta be. I really should invest in a nine hundred mil rule. Okay, so uh, here's a fretboard template I prepared earlier. So what I need to do is decipher where that's going to be. That's 34mm, so 34mm is there. So that's that's going to be about there. So <coughs> these glasses are terrible when you're walking around. So that's, that's there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, 
Where can I draw that? Let's get in there. So, cocktail sticks. So, all I'm going to do is put a faint line, which will be planed off later in the levelling process, but I'm just going to put a faint line where my nut needs to go. Okay, so essentially that is the nut, that's the end of that. Dot to dot time. Six mil, five point nine. It's always worth checking these. Five point seven. Perfect. Okay, so five point seven mil, five point nine. 5.8 okay so there's a bit of variation um, for what it's worth I think uh, still gonna put a six mil channel in there and uh, well we'll see how loose it is I'm gonna be doing this by hand so that bit will be speeded up it's quite a torturous job So, got my dinky little marking gauge. Okay. 
So I'm just going to put a little dot there. A little dot there. Did have some calipers. Gotta check. I actually got. Okay, so if I stay within my lines, I've got six mil happy at that. Unfortunately, with my eyes, my chisel work, it's not always bob on at the minute. But hey, we'll give it a go. At least doing this, you've got a bit of a guide for the for your chisel. Shop's not big enough. Turn that up to there. Bingo. Okay, essentially that fits. Fair bit of work to do there. Okay, so with some, something like, <clears throat> now what I need to do is just be a little bit more accurate with the depth. Got a bit of a jig, find it. Huh. Right, so um, basically it's just a little bit of oak with an angle on the end, some M6 bolts that go into timber inserts, um, stick chisel in, vague tightening, Bit big. Let's use this one. Okay, so that's that's eleven mil, so a bit too much. Ten. Okay, so that's about nine and a half mil. 
Get some tightening. Let's give it a whirl. Get in there slowly, bit by bit. Just a bit of a rock, but you kind of expect that when you when you're at this top end. And that feels that feels nice and flat. So I'm happy with that. Take this out. A little jig like this save you absolutely stacks of time, make your cuts really flat at the bottom. I'm not saying this is perfect, but it does for me, and it literally takes five minutes to make. So, there you go. So, now I just need to deepen this bit here. That's good there, but just a little bit of a, just a little bit of a rock somewhere here. I'm happy that that's going to press down and be good. Okay. So really, the next job is get the uh, number seven out, leveling plane, and whoosh, whip over there. So I'll set that all up. I'll turn the camera off while I do it.
tools away. <laughs> so, nice, 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 nice truss rod. So, okay. I'm happy with that because I've got uh, two layers of 6.6mm poplar going on top of here. That'll get rid of that. I'll try it before I uh, make any decisions to glue. But basically, that's the truss rod in. I always leave a little bit long at one end. I've got room just to put a bit of, bit of something in there. But yep, happy days.